So I've gone through the usual checks. Basically that's your input signal there. So I'll check there for 12 volt signal, nothing. So I was hoping it was a split wire or something. So I stripped the boy tank off and that, nothing. So, I test the CU, or the CDI, whatever you want to call it. That sends the signal to the coil, the ignition coil. And it was this black wire here. So I tested between there and here for continuity. And I had good continuity. So I knew that wire was pretty much intact. So what I did, I back probed that whilst it was in the connector and I was getting nothing. Really, you should be getting a 12 volt signal on that black wire if your CDI is working right. So just to test, I back probed it again and touched with power from the battery to this black wire and it started to, obviously I've got this earthed here. So basically I bypassed the CDI with a 12 volt signal and now it's sparking. I'm going to try and hope you see it sparking. I've extended the battery wire here. This one is back probed into the black and white wire, signal wire to the coil. So let's see if we get to spark. It's going to be really a hard single handed. So bear with me. I think you can just see it there. I'll probably just blow the fuse then, but I think you can see it just by tapping them two wires together carefully with two hands, you can start to see it spark. I don't want to do it too often in case I burn something out like that. Another way of just testing this rather than looking at the spark is to use one of these brilliant tools for diagnostics on cars, diesels, everything. Magnetic field tester. I forgot I had this, otherwise I've used it earlier, but I'm going to show you how this works now. I'm going to set it up. So you see it? Not light enough. I'll touch this back probe wire to earth. So there you see, the coil's energising. 